Hi there. Dr. Fran Haydanik, welcome to the Bellinger BB Show live out of Dallas, Texas. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. I'm so glad that you're here. You're here to give us some simple ways we can take charge of our health as women. And so at this point in time, you are the perfect person to talk to in May, which is National Women Health Awareness Month. You ready? We can get started. Absolutely. Okay. Let's start basically. What are some simple ways women can take charge of their health? So let's keep in mind that health mostly happens outside of the doctor's office. So finding little ways throughout our days at home to improve our health. So that includes things like how do we eat healthier throughout the day? How do we get more vegetables in? How do we increase our protein and fiber intake? We want to find ways to move our bodies that feel good. Now that it's starting a little nicer outside, going on walks and getting more steps in or finding a new stretching routine. We want to focus on making sure that we get a good amount of sleep throughout the day, make sure that we're wearing our sunscreen, and really doing all of this collaboratively with our physicians by keeping in our annual appointments. What are some of the not-to-miss appointments? So some of the appointments that we not only want you to make, but also come to are your annual preventative care visit with your OBGYN. We want you to touch base with your primary care doctor about once a year. And an appointment that a lot of people actually forget about is their dermatologist skin check. I would remind you to know that Dr. Haydeck, she is a obstetrician gynecologist in practice at the current time. Okay, Dr. Fran, um, are there there's a check or is there a checklist that I should be talking to my pharmacist or doctor about? Yes, with so many new medications available over the counter, a great thing to talk to your physician or your pharmacist about is to make sure that those are the right kind of medications for you. Let's talk about over-the-counter birth control pills. How do you know which ones to get? Yeah, so we have Opil, which is uh, the first FDA-approved over-the-counter birth control pill. We're very excited about this in the reproductive health care space. This is a progestin-only form of birth control pill that's 98% effective when taken as directed. Because it's progestin only, it's a safe option for a lot of people, including those who have migraines with aura, those who are breastfeeding, those who are are over the age of 35 and have hypertension and are smokers, or those who've had a history of blood clot in their lungs or their legs. Really, the only people who should not take Opil are those who currently have or in the past have had breast cancer. Before you take, uh, and I've got to expound on this, an over-the-counter birth control pill, should there be some kind of consultation with your doctor? So we do recommend that you discuss this with your physician or your pharmacist, but you don't have to, because again, this is over the counter. You don't have to go see a doctor or get a prescription. You can just go to the pharmacy and buy it yourself. What is the number one challenge that you see facing women in 2024 health-wise? I think probably the number one challenge that we're all finding is that we all have very busy lives and finding time to make for ourselves is difficult no matter your life circumstances, which is why I said those small changes that we can make throughout the day are going to have a big impact on our health. Is there a place online that people can go and be more informed so when they do visit with their doctor, they've got their questions all set up and they can ask the right questions? So I always encourage you to go directly to your physician to have those conversations because they really know you and your health the best. And that's what those preventative care visits are most important for. I think what you're saying, I'm going to wrap up with this, is that you need to have a relationship with your OBGYN in order to help you along this path. Is that correct? That is correct. We are here for you and your health, and we want you to come see us so we can help guide you on that pathway. Dr. Fran, great advice, great information, and great responses. Thank you for stopping by the Valder BB Show. Thank you so much for having me. Hi, I'm Valder BB, host of the Valder BB Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBBShow.com and YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to youtube.com slash show and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.